Hi guys, welcome back to Paint with Josh. What have you done with your hair? You look fantastic today. Enough about you though, let's get to this painting. We did a gorgeous 16 by 20 inch sunset, mountain tops overlook point, got the family flying through there. Ah, oh, just came out fantastic. You obviously think so as well. That's why you wanna learn how to paint this one. So check the description down below. Make sure you get all the colors you need. Make sure you get your canvas nice and wet. Get ready to throw some paint on it. We're gonna do it just like this. Why did that camera stop recording? It's very strange. Very, very strange. Okay, now we're gonna come back over here. And we're going to take that little bit of one inch brush with all those different colors on it. We're going to come just very lightly and we'll start down here very lightly. Just start mixing it. And again, the white really wants to blend in and become that darker purple underneath. So very light little pressure. This is why we leave those little areas in between. And so the whites can grow down, come down and touch each other, right? leaving those little areas of dark in between. Those are your little shadowy details. If you lose all those shadowy details, you have no depth left in your cloud. It's just a big old one colored mess, right? And there's no depth left. So right in here, two inch brush, flatten them down very soft, just by lifting up. So soft, three hairs in some air. We're not trying to move it, right? There's no, there's no brush, there's no paint on the brush here. I'm not trying to touch the canvas. I'm trying not to touch it. Right? I touch it as lightly as I possibly can. Very soft, very soft. Get a very cool little sky, just like that. All right, now we're talking about mountains. Let's come in and make a mountain. So if this is your first time watching a Paint With Josh video, make sure you comment, tell me where you're watching from and what's your favorite sandwich. We love knowing where people are tuning in from all over the world. We've got fans everywhere. So tell us what time it is or where you're watching from right now, whether it be Israel or Australia or Austria or the UK, or Philadelphia. Are you guys ready for the Super Bowl? My goodness. So, who's watching? Tell me where you are and what's your favorite sandwich? We always love to know. And we get the coolest comments. So, let's come in here. Let's take our, our purpley mixture that we just made, scrape up a little bit of it onto our little small knife. I'm using a small knife in this one. And who knows, maybe back in here. Just start dropping a little bit of a roll of paint up into there. Just like that. It's so simple. Let it fall off the knife just as you're mushing it on, right? We're putting a lot of pressure on it right now. And that way it, it smushes the paint out and creates that little line along the top. Because that's all we're really worried about. Everything else underneath, this doesn't matter. Nothing underneath matters. You can always cover it. You can mush it out. You can do all sorts of stuff, right? Get it all over the canvas like that. And this is how we shape the mountains, right? So maybe this little side, you can imagine would come down here. Maybe we had a little bit off to the back and you can just start to piece it out in your mind, right? Maybe there was a little valley in here. Okay, if there was a little valley, there must be another little peak right there, right? And you just build it. How does your mountain look? Maybe it comes up like that and then we got a whole other little bit down in there and there's our little valley. Maybe there's a valley in between. We got a double valley, right? Come down over here, it just keeps growing. Maybe we fall off to this side. Right? And it doesn't have to be the most perfect straight line thing. I never want them to be straight. That's no fun. Right? And again, mushing it hard, getting that paint to come off of the knife. I don't want it out on the knife forever. I want it on my canvas so we can use it. Right? Now we're going to come over here. Same two inch brush, uh, one inch brush. Haven't washed it at all. We're going to come back like this. I'm a lazy old painter. I don't like to wash the brush. Just like that. Start to shape what our mountain looks like. The more pressure you have, the more you're gonna create little details, right? Watch over here. And we pull in this other direction and all of a sudden we can start to shape our little valley back there. We can work this guy back into it, right? What does yours look like? I always ask, it's not about what my painting looks like. It's about what your painting looks like. I'm teaching you a cool little way to do it, right? But yours is gonna be different, of course. Never gonna be the same. So all depends on your brush strokes, your pulls, your direction, where you're taking your painting. And that's the most fun about it, right? It's always gonna be a little bit different than everyone else's. And I love that about painting. It's so awesome. Again, just kind of, oh, now look at that. All of a sudden, our little bit of mountains might connect down here and you never know. You just never know. So play around, have fun with them, right? Don't make your mountain the same dang shape all the time. I got a message from a guy today Oh, can you approve my post? Bro, please. This guy paints the same mountains all the time. Never a difference. They look exactly the same. And I hope he sees this. So, 
Maybe he might change and put a little difference in his mountain, look a little bit better. I might have to cut this whole section out of the video, but it's okay. It's okay. If I forget, leave it in. He knows I'm talking about him. He's lucky I'm talking about him. I won't even mention him by name because then people will know who the heck I'm talking about. And that would just give him more, you know, viewership, which I don't want. So sometimes Josh can be petty. Sometimes Josh can be very petty. And sometimes I can be the nicest person ever. So depends on the uh, level of uh, disrespect you come at me with. I match energy. I love that, that, uh, that saying, I match energy. All right, you decide what your mountain's gonna look like, right? So where, what colors are you gonna use? What, where's your highlights gonna be? Where are your shadows gonna be, right? And in this instance, we have our sun in a precarious place with all these peaks, right? You would imagine that all these peaks might be in the shadow of the sun because they're behind it. When in reality, it would hit in a lot of these places. So in mine, I don't care what you do with your shadows, but in mine, I would imagine some shadow down here, right? Off the back of the mountain, maybe off the back of this ridge and everything else is gonna be in the light. So again, you do what you wanna do. I'm gonna do what I wanna do and we'll see whose looks better, right? <laughs> Let's go like this. Grab up a little bit. Now this white had uh, a little bit of the crimson in it to turn it a little pinky, right? When we were doing our clouds and it all mixed in with all this stuff. So it's not the most pure white. It's a little pink, little pinky white, right? And that way we can save our most pure whites for when we get down close to us, right? Now we're gonna need to make up a little shadow. So let's take a couple little bits of blue, just touching it. You don't want a whole lot, just like that. Look at this. You don't want a whole lot of paint on the knife, right? Maybe take a little bit of that white over there and we'll come over here and make our little shadowy blue. And the more blue you have on the knife, the real, I mean, the darker it's gonna be for real. There we go. Nice little sky blue color. Take some of that purple and mix that in as well. That way you kind of dulls it down. You get this soft little bluey gray shadow. It's fantastic. All right, let's come in here. Now we can't have just light everywhere. So let's put a little shadowy blue back in there, maybe off the back of this peak. All right, but you gotta have it be blue enough that it stands out away from the white. And that way you get that shadowy look, right? Maybe off the back side of the peak, we had a little bit of our bluish shadow down here, different places. Doesn't have to all be the same, that's for sure. You never want it to all be 100% the same because then it's not gonna look real. Right? I like it to be different. And we always say differences in color, right? You ever hear me talk about that? That's what we're talking about. Let's take a little bit of this, put the blue over here, just a little touch, and let it drag. Look, we're hovering the knife. We're hovering it. We're not, I'm not pushing real hard. I'm not scraping at it. I'm literally trying to let it float above the canvas and whatever little bit of roll that I have scraped up right here, if it's only a millimeter thick, that's how much you need to be hovering, right? And you just let it fall right off the knife, just like that, it comes off easily. You don't wanna force it, that's for sure. We're gonna come back in here, grab up a little bit of the white. Don't wanna have too much, especially when you go to the very tip top of your mountains. Come up here like this, start to slide it down floating the knife across the canvas, right? We're floating it. I'm not touching the knife onto the canvas. It's not, the blade is not making contact with the canvas. It's just a little roll of paint that's getting grabbed by any little bit of canvas it can. Just like that, pulling it down. Oh, so gorgeous. Look at this, guys. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Pulling it down, oh man, that is neat. All right, remember we had our little valley back there? So we have to turn it up, right? You have to shape it. You gotta turn, you gotta rotate your knife, you gotta rotate your wrist. It's not all the same, right? Maybe underneath there, now that we have that there, that looks really cool. Maybe there was a little bit of shadowy blue right underneath there. Now you don't wanna make it too dark blue. You have to kind of match that same color because our dark blue shadows that we're gonna save for the front, right? So maybe like down in here, there was a little drop off and then all of a sudden it hit. And you got a very cool little thing happening right here, guys. We're gonna come back to that white, come up to the top, just jiggle along the edge, just like that, look. Jiggle it, let it roll, let it come off. We're not touching the canvas. Remember, we're floating along the top. Coming down like that. Come down in here into our little valley, let them meet up. Very cool. Leaving those dark areas, all right, our, our brights, then our blues, then our whites, then our blues, then our whites, then our blues. You have to do that in layers. You really do. Right, I'm going to 
come down here. I'm going to change the angle of the knife. So now we're more on a sloping coming down. Ooh, hoo, 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 that looks cool, guys. That looks cool. Just like that. Oh, maybe we could get, somebody could get back in there into that little shadowy cave. What's going on in there? All right. Boom. Come down. Different swipes, different directional pulls. You'll get little different highlights on stuff. Come down in there. Very cool. Coming down, being more horizontal. All right. Coming in, lining up over here. Maybe this side. It's too much white. So you scrape it. You hear the difference when I go to scrape at the angle. We're scraping at it away, and now we've got all that paint back on the edge of the knife, so you could lay it down again. And we come back up here, leave a couple little bits flow into our into our shadowy side, so it looks like the the light is just creeping over the edge, and blending in with those little shadowy blue areas. Right? Very cool. Very cool. We do the same thing down here. And this guy's a little bit too. There we go, a little bit brighter, a little more light, kiss that mountainside right there. Right? And then you can always feed it back up as you're going to make your, your mist and, and all of your, your, air, your, your misty areas. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Don't overwork it though. You overwork it, you're gonna be mad at yourself. Right, maybe back here, the light picked up again in a few little areas and it got a little bit brighter, you never know. You never know what happened out there. You're not there. Right? Lit up this little thing out there. All with the directional poles of our knife. You have all these little different things going on. Right? And then you can feed it back in, turn it into fog, whatever you don't like. Very cool. Very cool. You're like, what do you mean turn it into fog? Well, if this is your first time watching a Paint With Josh video, tell us what time it is and what's your favorite sandwich. We love to know. Take that two inch brush just like that. We're going to feed it from the side back up into the mountain. Very lightly, not trying to move the paint, just trying to soften it a little bit. Get rid of some of those details, right? We're going to come over here, we're going to rotate, we're going to turn, and now we're going to go back up this way. We're feeding it up into the mountain, back into that thick paint. And it's very softly becoming blended, just like that. Very cool, right? Now, be very careful if you come in here. You want to have such a light touch and it's taken me four years to have this light of a touch where I can go across and actually hit the paint and not drag it, right? Not have it move anywhere, but just soften it enough to where it's not that full texture, right? And it's taken a long, long, long time and a lot of practice. So you don't have to go all the way to the top of your mountain. Just start down here, feed it up, right? Soften the bottom until you can create a new layer. And we're going to come in here with that same old two inch brush tape it and just start tapping and this is where our fog comes in look at this right you're grabbing it pulling it down grabbing it pulling it down in those same angles and what we're doing is creating new land that's underneath a, a little layer of mist right tapping tap drag it down a couple times doesn't need to be forever you don't have to have thirty thousand little taps right just tap it a couple little bits the more you work all that white that we're now picking up down here, back up into this color, oh, the more it looks like little bits of mist and fog, right? Even go above your, your horizon. Who knows? Maybe there's a whole little bit of cloud that's now attached and come down. Maybe we could do that. Ooh, that would be kind of cool. Do another little mountain cloud one. Be neat, right? Fill it back in. You can always go back and do whatever you want to do. But swiping back up, right? Now that I'm onto this side, I don't want to swipe up this way. I want to feed it back up into the mountain like that. So softly. Right? A little bit of misty fogginess back there. You don't really know what's happening, right? Then you can take the bottom, just crisscross it back and forth. And now you can lay snow, you can have a meadow, you can have clouds, you can do another mountain, you can do all sorts of stuff. Totally up to you, which is why I always say you don't have to follow the tutorial exactly, right? You can go off on your own way, which is what I think I'm going to do. And I'm going to put a big old section of clouds right back in here with all of this gorgeous color that's underneath. We don't need any shadow color. We just need that gorgeous white paint, and it's going to mix in with all those other beautiful colors that are back there, right? So let's grab it up on our big old brand new Gak Doctor brush. This is a size, what's that, size 10, right? 
keeping the one side sort of clean. And then just like in our other, we'll come back in here, bouncing it up into there. Oh, look at that. Having the clouds mix in, it goes down. Doesn't have to curl up around the whole thing, right? Still have a lot of white paint, so why don't we take it and just mush it on. That's all you have to do. Just literally mush it, leaving a little bit of room for it to grow, right? If you have that little area, the little space in between, it's gonna grow down, right? We're gonna take this one in here very lightly because the more you mix it, the more it's gonna disappear, right? So softly. And if you have to go back and add another layer of white and do it again, you can do that. Just like that, so soft though. Oh my goodness, my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at it, it's fantastic. Just mixes in now all of a sudden. We're at the tip top. Maybe we're on a hot air balloon. Maybe we're in a helicopter tour. Maybe we're somewhere where we just see the tip top of the mountains peeking through very softly. Because it's a cloud, we're going straight up, right? I'm not going directionally into my mountain because we're doing a cloud now. Gotta fluff it up, fluff it to the side. Oh, look at all those little details right in here. Woo hoo hoo! Fantastic, you guys. I like that one. All right, we'll save room. Maybe there's like a tip top of a tree over here. So let's do one more little bit of cloud, but let's make it a dark cloud, right? Not every cloud has to be bright and have a really bright center. And even this one, you could throw underneath. You could add a little bit of that darkness as our shadow, right? Our same mountain mixture, and then we'll work it upwards into that cloud, All right? You can pull it down, you can pull it up, you can pull it underneath, you can drag it here, you can go there. And then just mix and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix until you like the way that it looks, right? Maybe you want it a little bit brighter or a little bit darker. Maybe the sun was hitting on just the top of the cloud and not the shadowy underside, right? Oh, however you want it to look. Again, softly taking it up from the top, or from the bottom to the top. My, my dyslexia says from the top to the bottom, then people get mad at me in the comments. From the bottom to the top, just like that. Okay. Now, why don't we come back in? Just because I want a little bit more depth. We'll get a little bit more white right over the tip top of this shadow again, right? Leaving some of that shadow, bouncing it down. Differences, 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 differences. Look, maybe this guy grew up over here now. Just because I was mushing it on that way, right? Very lightly again, clean, dry brush. And that way you don't overdo it, over mix all the colors together. Start on this side over here. And just so, so, so lightly. Again, because you don't want it to turn into the color that's underneath. That white will eventually disappear and become whatever color it is underneath there. So, the more you mix, the more that will happen. Right? And again, here, we have white, a little bit of dark, a little bit of light, a little bit of dark, a little bit of light, a little bit of dark. Right? Still layers. You don't want those whites to, to get too close. You don't want it to touch. You don't want them to connect. That's for sure. And be sure guys, start writing your name. Uh, if you were gonna name this painting, what would you name this painting? Write it in the comments, or whatever platform you're watching on right now. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna choose a name from the comments section and we're gonna name this painting. It's gonna be fantastic. So comment your names right now. And uh, we're just about done with this old guy. We're gonna fluff it up from the bottom to the top, top to the bottom, however you wanna say it. We get this gorgeous floating tip top of a mountain. Oh, it's fantastic. Whoop, drop my brush. It's so fantastic, I ended up dropping the brush. My goodness. Here we had, like I was talking about, we had a, uh, we had an old tree out here. It just lived out in the, in the tip tops. Gets to look at this mountain all day. I'm actually really jealous of this tree. It must be a fantastic place to live, right? <laughs> We're gonna come over here, grab it up onto the brush like that, and maybe, I don't know, I don't wanna go too high. Let's see, maybe there's just a couple right around the bottom, right? Like that. Let's do a couple little saggy ones. So we'll go downward facing. Just start tapping and then we start getting bigger and bigger and rotating the brush, tapping it down. All right, these are the very tip tops of the trees, way off. Real close to us and we get this far off mountain out in the distance, right? And that guy's over here, a little bit taller. And then this guy's gonna be a little upward facing guy. So we're Rotate the brush the other way. And now we're slapping up into the canvas. Just like that. 
You see how the difference in trees there? One looks like it's old and saggy, like it's had too much water or too much snow on it. And this other one's nice and tall and, and just, just ready for life. Just ready to grow another hundred years. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's put one down here. Maybe dead, almost dead center. Just like that. Again, tapping up. Smallest little things at the tip tops of these trees. And then you got to get bigger as you go down. Of course, right? And not every tree has to look exactly the same. It doesn't, the, your little branch patterns and this, that, and the other. They don't all have to be the same as this guy or that guy or any guy. They really don't. Let's come back in here. I love these little trees. I don't want to do too many. We got to do maybe one or two more. Let's go over here. Nice little big one. Come down like that. A little upward facer. Smack it into the canvas. And then we start going back and forward as we're tapping. Back and forward. Tap up and push in harder. Tap up and push in harder. Tap up and push in harder. Right? As you're going back and forth, you make that gorgeous little tree. Just like that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let me do one more little guy. I don't want to cover up too much. So we'll do one more little guy. Man, what I wouldn't give to be on a hot air balloon looking at this site right here. Let me tell you. Do a little guy down here. Nothing too crazy. Tapping up. Again, smacking it against. So now we're going backwards and forwards, pushing a little bit harder. And that is how you make a tree. Very cool. I like that. I like that little guy. Very tip tops. Okay. Now, let's highlight these trees with a little bit of snowy goodness. So we're going to take, and we need to have two colors of snow while I wash these brushes off. Guys, can you believe TikTok chose me. My agency sent them a message and was like, hey, we got an art guy for you. And they were like, yeah, we need this guy to be the spotlight. Can you imagine? Like, it literally blows my mind. And I'm going to tell every single person I know about it at least 19,000 times because I'm so amazed at it myself. Like, it's like I'm telling myself, hey, this is actually happening and I don't believe it. I don't believe it myself. Let's come in here. Now we're gonna make up some more shadowy colors, right? So we need a little bit darker blue, which means more blue paint to mix into our little shadows, right? We want it dark because when we use our liquid white, it's going to brighten it up even more than it is right here, right? So on our little pile, it should be dark, dark enough. There we go. Again, add some of that black. You get that little bit of grayish tint to it. It dulls it down. And that is the color we want right there. Now we're gonna take some of our white and take a little smidge of that blue. You don't need a whole lot. A lot more white than blue. And that way it's not a, a, you know, a pure white that's out here on the end of our trees. It's not a pure white thing. Look at that. But against this other color, it's going to sure to look white when we go put it out there. So mix it up. Very, very, very light, 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 light grayish color. Almost white. That's how I like mine anyway. All right, and we'll come back over here. Grab up a little fan brush. I like to change it up and go to a smaller fan brush. And when you go to a much smaller fan brush than the fan brush that you actually created the shape with, you make a lot cooler of our little highlights. So, when we come in here, we're gonna come over to our blue side, we're gonna drop some of that liquid white, that very first paint that we initially covered our canvas with, and we're gonna start to mix this guy up. All right, and that white and blue are really gonna wanna take over each other. So, just like that. Mix it in, and you get this very soft little bit of blue back here. And now we're going to come on to the opposite side that you think our light would be on, which would be our shadowy side. We're going to start to tap in a couple little details. That's all we really need. Don't need to cover all of the darkness. You're not going to see everything, right? Now we're going to flip our brush over. We're going to come on to the back side of this guy, right? And just start tapping up very lightly. Again, not trying to cover everything. Because if you cover up all the little dark branches, then you have nowhere for your snow to sit. Your snow is just sitting on top of snow, and that looks weird, right? So, go back, wipe the knife off, because now that you've gone over two trees, your, your, your brush, not the knife, your brush, has changed color, and it's picked up a little bit of that darker color, and that's going to just dull your highlights. So wipe it off or clean it. Go back. Come on to the back side of this guy. Little taps up. 
little things. Slap, 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 right? Just on the one side, it's the shadowy side. Actually, this guy, why don't we put it a little bit over here too? And just do that little bit of highlight. That way it's not a, just a straight halfway line down, right? Come back over here, pop in a few little bits on this smaller guy. Nothing too crazy. Don't want to add a whole lot of detail. These are just the shadows, remember? It's just the shadows. Now maybe the shadowy side's on this side because the sunlight is over there, right? Smacking at it, a couple little things. Little bits of blue, little bits of something over there, right? That's all we really need. Now, wash the brush off or wipe it off. I tend to wash it when I switch colors. If I'm using the same color, we just wipe it off. But if I'm gonna switch colors, then I wanna wash it. That way it's nice and clean. And I can come back to our liquid white, which is a very runny white. Look, it wants to fall off. It's like so runny in comparison to the other white that we have. All right, so we're gonna get that guy up, mix it in. Now this, this liquid white, all it's doing is thinning this thick paint down so it'll stick a little bit easier. All right, so we get our white. Come on to this side, we're gonna touch the, the center of the branch or the center of the trunk, and then just start tapping out little things. All right, doesn't have to be the whole tree, doesn't have to be covered. You don't wanna cover every single little bit, right? Maybe we can get away with doing it on this side. Nope, we're gonna have to rotate over. First, we gotta get that tip top, bang, just like that, like it got a little bit of frost on him. All right, little smacks. Slapping at the canvas, the right kind of an angle. All right, little things, little things. And we start to, they're like little cups that hold the snow, right? They caught the snow back there. Go back to our liquid white, come back in here. Remember, start hitting me with your names. What would you name this painting? Overlook point, you know, make out point, I, I don't know. What would you guys name this painting? Write it in the comments below. And I'm going to go through the comments of whatever platform you're watching on. I'm going to go through the comments and I'm going to choose a name. So hit me with the names that you want to name this painting right now. And we're going to choose in just a second, right? Got to sign it and then we'll be done. Slapping at the canvas. Little things. They don't all have to be covered, right? Doesn't all have to be the same thing. How many times have I said that today? It does not have to look the same. It doesn't have to be the same color. It doesn't have to be the same shape. It doesn't have to be the same size. Doesn't have to be the same brightness. Doesn't have to be anything. It really doesn't. You don't, there are no rules. It does not have to be anything, okay? Just like that. As long as you got your brush at the right angle and the paint is in the right place on there and you got the right amount and the right amount of pressure, your tree's gonna be gorgeous, let me tell you. Man, that's cool. Well guys, I can't wait to see your version of this painting. Make sure you send it into facebook.com slash paintwithjosh. And until I see you guys again next time, take care, have the rest of a good day, and ba pow Hi, welcome back to Paint With Josh. Today we did a gorgeous 16 by 20 inch <sighs> Ba-boom! Let's see the end of the show. Bye, see ya later. Hi, wow, you look gorgeous with your hair. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna focus when you sitting just like that? You're just fantastic, that's stupid. All right, here we go, one more time. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to Paint With Josh. You look fantastic, what have you done with your hair? Ooh, it's fantastic, I love it. Why do I say fantastic so much? I say it too many times. All right, one more time, it's getting late. Hi. <laughs> oh, all the pressure with people watching live. This is why we screw up, it's okay. Hi, welcome back to Paint With Josh. Hi, hey ladies, what's happening? Thanks for watching Paint With Josh. I don't know why I go to my radio voice. It's like my go-to voice. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it turned out fantastic. You obviously think so as well. That's why you clicked on this painting. You wanna look. Hey guys, welcome back to, hey guys. Whoa guys, did you know for my TikTok spotlight creator thing, it took me an hour, more than an hour, to make a, a 29 second video that I was happy with? More than an hour. I just want you to know that. Hi, welcome back to Paint with Josh. Man, you look good. What have you done with your hair? Just forget. Ah, oh, fucking, that's so dumb. Why do I even do that? All right, right? Like, oh, hi, you again? Welcome. Oh, man, you look. <laughs> Why do I do? I try to like boost the, the viewer's ego. Like, oh, you look great today. What have you done? Something different about you. Oh, my goodness. Looks fantastic, right? Okay, here we go. Let's get to it. We have a 16 by 20 inch gorgeous sunset. Uh, it turned out fantastic. You obviously think so as well. That's why you want to click on it. That's why you clicked on it and you want to learn how to paint the painting. Ah!
God, why does it just get so good? Then it gets so bad. It just goes from here to there immediately. Here we go. <laughs> 